This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. One of the questions we received for our top manager team recently was this. What will be the most important skill farm operators need to be successful in the future? Can you guess the answer? Human resources, knowing your cost of production? For our team of experts, the answer was unanimous. Marketing. Well, there's no question that it's one of the critical functions of management. But it depends a lot on whether you're producing a commodity or whether you're producing a differentiated product. If it's a commodity, it's primarily a pricing decision. But if it's a differentiated product or service, then it's a matter of market research, product positioning, product promoting, and salesmanship. Back to the commodities, in particularly volatile markets, it's probably more important than production, or at least as important. For example, you could have 50 bushel soybeans, but selling them at $6 a bushel, that's a $300 an acre gross. 40 bushel soybeans but sold at 750 is also a $300 an acre gross. So you could have basically a 20% shortfall in yields and still be just as profitable, maybe more so because there's less handling and storage charges. Actually, I think the farmer's ability to market will be the most distinguishing characteristic of success in the future. We focused in the past mostly on being producers. Most farmers are very good producers, but not all of them are good marketers. And marketing, as I've indicated earlier, is the characteristic of designing your entire farm so you produce exactly what that customer wants. It's not just selling. It's the ability to be able to identify what the customer around the world wants and how to get it to them and produce it in a way that is exactly the specifications that they want. Marketing is an integrated supply chain system of decisions that creates you know, the choice of the inputs and the varieties and the way you, you cultivate them or, or raise the livestock, the way they're slaughtered and the way they are then finally packaged and sold to the customer. So that whole marketing system is going to be very, very important for farmers to buy into and participate in. One of the things, though, we found uh, in, in um, our study was that uh, those farmers that were involved in direct marketing, that's in some way somehow selling directly to the consumer, whether it was a farmer's market or a particular niche market with a value chain. If you scratch the surface of some of those farmers, you'll find that they have a background in pedigreed seed production or purebred livestock. And when we thought about that, we said, well, uh, what does that tell us? Well, what it tells us is when you're in pedigreed seed production, production or, or purebred livestock production, the decisions you make this year or next year are really based on what you think your customer is going to buy two or three years down the road. And so uh, we do have an element of farmers uh, across Canada that do have a, uh, a real marketing approach. And we're seeing this coming forward now in direct marketing and also in the farmers who seem to be the best ad uh, uh, adapt at trying to make the value chains work, the early stages in the value chain. You know, it does, it does have some relation back to their history. Uh, but certainly, uh, having the ability to direct market is critical. I think also we are starting to understand the impact of, um, of supply management in some aspects and how, you know, that, that is a, a, a relatively well accepted way of marketing in Canada. And there's a new factor that's just come into play that I might add, and that's the a dramatic increase in oil prices and one of the things we're starting to hear is that transportations are going to go up transportation costs are going to go up globally and uh, and so if uh, oil prices continue to go up Kevin we may see uh, less there may be all more opportunity for domestic consumption and uh, of Canadian made food products and we may rely less on imports and less on exports so there may be some import substitution so in a nutshell uh, uh, there may be uh, certainly a greater uh, importance on Canadians and Canadian farmers producing directly for consumers um, right within an 8 to 24 hour trucking uh, range. So marketing could be very critical in a very non-traditional way. 
In the weeks ahead, we will be adding more outspoken experts to our top manager team. So now it's your turn. If you have a question for these guys, a business idea that you've been wondering about for a while, you want to bounce it off of someone, why not email it to me directly at simply kevin.stewart at farms.com. We'll choose the best questions to challenge the top manager team.